Hi sir, I'm Ashley. I created the backdrop image for this Adda series. When Bogle sir casually mentioned my name to you, you found my photo almost immediately. I was so surprised. How does one do person search? Can we come up with a set of rules or an optimal search sequence? Thank you Ashley for your effort to create the backdrop image for our series. It's greatly appreciated. Nicely done. Very nicely done. So your question is about how does one actually search for pictures? So when uh, Dr. Bhogle gave me your name, I was able to search obviously by your name but then <clears throat> the same name came up with other people and Ashley as you know is not necessarily a name of a man or a woman it could be either one in fact my ex-boss when I was in Australia teaching our dean was named Ashley Goldsworthy he was the president of the Liberal Party of Australia and he was definitely a man anyway so let me try to give you some idea about what you go out searching for so you have some basic rules for example if you are searching for a picture of somebody then you put in that person's name and separately as an item as star dot jpg so jpeg file is also a searchable quantity now if you just say jpg google may or may not understand that very well but if you put star dot jpg that star as a wildcard works inside google's machinery it works much better so if you have some other background information then you put that in for example if that person has ever been at a university then you put in as a site semicolon star dot the university uh, name or if you don't know the university name you just say dot edu if it is united states and other countries have different things in india it's dot ac dot in and so on so you have to know something about that person before you can actually search blind search is often very very difficult so the best way i can illustrate this whole thing is by showing uh, how i would search myself obviously i know exactly who i am and so on but let's say i put in my name in google and then put my name down now this will be given that it is not within inverted commas or within quotes then it's going to search those combination at all possible combinations so if they're close together, then it will find those things first. If T-A-P-E-N and S-I-N-H-A appear at two different locations, it will still find it, but it will be much lower down at the totem pole in your search menu. So here, instead of all, I search for image. And then it gives me three images and they are correct. That's me. However, Curiously, they produce three images of mine at three different ages. So the first one that you see there on the left is when I was about 45. And in the second one, I was about 35. And the third one is when I was about 55. That's 10 years ago. So it appears that people have found my 45 year old image more attractive than my 35 year old image than my 55 year old image i really don't know why but that's how it is 
and that's how Google search works. Now I can also specify some other constraint for example when are these searches what time period are these searches to be done so default you can get it from yesterday or from last month or from last year or for all times this search is showing it for all times so any search first thing you start obviously with the name of that person it may not be as simple as you might think for example <clears throat> My full name is Tapendra Narayan Sinha, but I rarely use it. So my passport says that, but I usually use T-A-P-E-N and S-I-N-H-A. That is my professional name, if you like. So if you search for my professional name, that will give you a much bigger number of hits than my actual name. On the other hand, if you're searching for a person for finding that person's police record, then it is probably a better idea to search for the whole name because that is likely to be recorded than that person's professional name. So for example, if you want to search for Dilip Kumar, okay, that's his professional name, but his real name as we know, the actor was not Dilip Kumar. So Dilip Kumar, the actor, is much more searchable on the web than his real name search. Now, similarly, for other people, depending on the kinds of activities they are that you are looking for, that you search for. Additional information like age, location, current location or past location are also greatly useful for searching for a person. But suppose you want to find out about a person right now. Is there a way of finding that person? Where is that person located at this very moment? The answer is yes. If you have the name and the correct name and the country of that person's passport and his phone number, you can actually find out where that person is at this very moment. There are satellite information that you can get that will actually give you those numbers. Now, is that costless? No. For example, I have a neighbor who is or has been a director of a detective agency. He told me that he can get anybody's information. It costs him about 1500 US dollars. Now, of course, when he goes out in business doing that, he does not charge his clients $1,500. That's what it costs him. So he charges $5,000 for that sort of information. And who does need that kind of information? Typically the police, if they're looking for him for some crime. And that's how it works.